the coalition of civil society on Thursday in Abuja making a case over the governor, Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emifili, saying that he has been evading sensitive government information concerning monetary and fiscal policy. The group had their denial redesign was introduced as a medium to cover up corruption. It remains a mystery how the governor of this sensitive central bank, a country will emerge engaged in partisan politics by vying for the position of president, expending billions of naira from the vault of the central bank in his political ambition. A situation where the governor of the central bank will be neck deep in forex round dripping is most dishonorable and defeat all known ethics in the sector. These indicate that Godwin MFLA must have been evading sensitive government information concerning monetary and physical policies to, per to patron and benefactors over the years. We know that the CBN governor introduced the Naira redesign as a medium to cover up for some of the anomalies he perpetuated in office. Consequently, several billions of Naira were expended for changing the color of some Naira era, were expended for changing the color of some Naira denominations. The CSOs will claim diversion of government funds and unwholesome practices in foreign markets by Governor Emefele called for his arrest. The group also made a demand to relieve Godwin Emefele of his appointment as the Governor, Central Bank of Nigeria. Godwin Emefele is an economic saboteur that should be arrested and persecuted for fraud. Diversion of government funds perpetuating unwholesome practices in the forex management in the country and other acts too numerous to mention. The recent revelations regarding the stamp duties account indeed bring to the fore why Godwin Emefele must be re relieved of his appointment as the governor of Central Bank of Nigeria. He lacks the moral rights and strength of character to, to pretend over the affairs of the Central Bank of Nigeria. He is morally bankrupt and on the verge of plunging the country into an unimaginable economic crisis. This remains a shame and Nigeria shall not allow such a corrupt man to continue to head the sensitive and critical Central Bank of Nigeria. Our demand is one. Godwin MFLA must be relieved of his appointment as governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria. This is coming after allegations of terrorism financing against the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emefele, by the state security services where the Federal High Court in Abuja threw out the request to order for Godwin Emefele's arrest. <laughs> 